Something tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break me. weekend at the Spitzes, an annual tradition. Samson, stop! And no one could escape its clutches. Okay, lay it on us. What's our torture this year? Josh, I need you to rake all the old leaves out of the garden. Yuck, that's a huge job, and the leaves are all wet. I don't know, Mom. Josh is the youngest. He probably won't do a very good job. I can do it better than you. Adam, you're doing the windows. Again? Why am I always the one on the ladder? Can't Sharon do it? <laughs> Sharon already has a job. That's okay. I can do the windows, too. I better get used to doing Adam's jobs. When he starts college, we'll have to manage without him. Somehow. No, I'll do it. I've got the longest arms anyways. Reverse psychology. Where did you learn that? I don't know, but if it's working, maybe I'll try to make Adam think he wants to drive me to school. <laughs> Careful, Sharon. Psychology is a powerful tool. Don't worry, Mom. I'm just kidding. Good. But knowing what makes people tick is a useful talent. Hmm, maybe I have a budding psychologist on my hands. good at getting inside my brother's heads. Maybe I do have a future in psychology. That is, if I don't become a vet. You could be a vet psychologist. Tell me, Fluffy, how did you get along with the rest of your litter? Ha, ha. I can't believe you scored another hat trick. Keep it up and we'll make the finals for sure. That's why I'm the captain, because I can put the puck between the pipes. Ladies, we are in the presence of hockey greatness. Marlo, you're too kind. <laughs> Not you, your girlfriend. <laughs> Maria, in honor of your amazing three goals and four assists last Friday, the Wapiti are honored to give you this token of our esteem. <laughs> it used to be a bowling trophy, but now it's for most valuable player. Thanks to you, we beat the toughest team in town. Now we're the best, and that makes you the best of the best. Speech! Speech! Oh, thanks, guys. You shouldn't have. For an MVP, you don't look very happy. Well, I just feel funny about being called the best when I think I can play even better. So, you're saying that you don't feel challenged? Exactly! I want to keep improving my skills. He deeks left, then right. Oh, and it's off the post. Maybe you should try out for the boys' team. They're bigger, so it might be more of a challenge. <gasps> you know what? That's not a bad idea. Thanks. Hey, what are friends for? I'm impressed. All right, you're in. We practice tomorrow at 6. I'll be there. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for suggesting I try out. You were right. This really is the challenge I need. Maria was so excited. It sounds like she feels good about her decision. Yeah, and it was my idea. I see why you like this counseling stuff. 
It's rewarding, isn't it? Hey! What? I'm having a growth spurt. Still? I just hope playing with all those big guys doesn't intimidate Maria. You know, I've got just the thing. How come you're sucking up to Mom? Are you flunking something? No, I'm genuinely interested in psychology. <laughs> Funny. This is a fabulous book. Maybe it'll help you help Maria. Sports psychology. Psych up to win. Thanks, Mom. So, how'd practice go? Great. The guys are really making me feel welcome. Check this out. It's a walkie-talkie, so we can talk when I'm in the girls' locker room. Oh. They've been giving me noogies all night. I think it means I'm officially one of the guys. Hmm, a bonding ritual. Fascinating. Sorry I bumped into you so hard at practice. It was a total accident. Oh, no prob. It was nothing. You're lucky it wasn't Dimitri. He's huge. I know I'm the smallest one out there, but <laughs> Maria can handle it. You're just feeling threatened by an unfamiliar gender dynamic. Uh, right. I think I need nachos. Sounds good. Well, sure, I'm sure. You didn't know? No, it's news to me. Maria, are you really switching to the guys' team? I was just working up the guts to go over and tell you. But why? I thought you liked playing with us. I do, but I want to see if I can hold my own with bigger players. I just feel like I need to try it. Do you hate me? Of course not. If you really want to play with the guys, then I'm behind you 100%. But we're really going to miss you. We're doing great! We've got a real attendance problem. I don't know what they're missing. Oh, I know what I'm missing. Half the game. Patience, kiddo. I'm just waiting for the right time to use you. Try to channel your frustration. Channeling. Still channeling. The game's almost over. Isn't Maria gonna play at all? Oh! Uh, of course she is. Right now. You mean it? You go get him, Tiger. And remember to visualize! <laughs> yeah! Way to, Way to go, Maria! So the Brock man adds another hat trick to his stats. Hey, I had a little help. And what about our rookie here? Would you quit with the hair? There were six guys between you and the net. How'd you score? Visualization. Something Sharon taught me. I just pictured making the goal over and over. And then, when I got out there, it just happened. All right! We got a team shrink. Ooh. <laughs> I guess so. Hey, are we still gonna go play foosball? You know, I'd like to score some points tonight, too. Excuse me. Hi, Lipton. I cover sports for the Elkford Sun. Ms. Lipton was saying she'd like to do a feature on the team. Cool! I'd especially like to talk to Maria about what it's like being the only girl on the team. Me? Right now? Well, we were kind of on our way somewhere. An article in the paper would really help our attendance. Sure, why not? Great! We can use my office. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Say nice things about us. Come on, let's fooze. You're coming too, right? I want to hear more about this visualization thing. I can't believe it doesn't even mention my hat trick. It's all about Maria. At least it's a nice photo. Hey, Maria. When's the rookie card coming out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That article is so embarrassing. Being in the spotlight puts me under a lot of pressure to be good. You are good. Don't worry, it'll blow over. Huh, 
It better. Oh, hey, sorry I stuck you with the guys last night. Was it too much jock talk? <laughs> Are you kidding? I had a great time. We talked about sports psychology, and the guys were totally into it. They even want me to come to practices so I can help them with their problems. Take five, Rob. You know, there's a better way to deal with your pent-up aggression. Now, don't you feel calmer? <sighs> stupid, stupid, stupid move. That's enough negative self-talk. I want you to try these positive affirmations instead. I am a talented athlete. I forgive myself for my mistakes. So, when guys are trying to score on me, I suddenly picture them as the robots in Cyborg Invasion. It freaks me out, man. Is that normal? Normal is such a subjective term. Bring it on, cyborgs! <laughs> Sharon, whatever you're doing, keep it up. When I took on Maria, I didn't know we'd be getting a shrink, too. I like to be helpful. Where is Maria, anyway? I sent her to the sports shop. They donated our new jerseys, and they wanted a photo of Maria wearing one. Okay, I'm back. Just let me get my skates on. Uh, don't bother. We're just finishing. That's it for today. The whole practice? Rob's finally stopped breaking sticks, and even the coach likes what I'm doing. You know, I think I've really found my niche. Yo, Maria. Maria here. Is Sharon there? It's for you. Hey, what's up? Hey, we need you to settle a bet. Is putting toothpaste in a guy's skates passive aggressive or just constructive criticism? Definitely passive aggressive. Yes, thanks. Any time. Hey. They're always asking me stuff like that. Hey, did you see our new jersey? Yeah. Poster girl was wearing it. Hey. Ow! Don't call her that. She's a good player. Sure. When she's here, be sure you get my good side. I said shut up. Ow! I think what he meant to say... Oh, I know what he meant. You don't have to defend your buddy. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I'm glad one of us is fitting in. <laughs> What's this supposed to do again? <laughs> Synchronize them to improve their teamwork. If you say so, at least they're blowing off steam before the game. Hello? Uh-huh. <laughs> Quit moving your main leg. <laughs> What's a main leg? The one that's tied to mine, doofus. Good news, guys. Curling got canceled, so our game's gonna be on community cable tonight. Yes! Woo! Yeah! They asked if they could interview the team captains between periods. Sweet! Brock... I need you focused on the game. I think we should let Maria do the interview. Why does she get to do it? I'm the captain. She's hardly been on the ice. Excuse me. Whoa. That's because I'm always doing some stupid publicity thing. I didn't join the Elks to be a poster girl, despite what some of you think. Well, I don't even know why I'm on this team anymore. To challenge yourself. Huh, by being on TV? Yay! Maria. A publicity shot can be just as important as a slap shot. Maybe, but how's my game gonna get better if I'm getting less ice time? Oh, Brock's mad at me, the guys are making fun of me. Maybe I should just quit. You can't! It's called self-sabotage. You're afraid you won't live up to your expectations, so you're finding reasons to give up. Whoa! You really think so? Yes! Look at all the good stuff you've done. New uniforms, better turn out to the games. Being on a team means playing your position. And right now, your team needs you to do the publicity stuff. Do you want to let them down? 
Of course not. Then you'll do the interview? Uh, sure, why not? It'll give them another joke for the locker room. They weren't laughing at you. The poster girl thing was affectionate. They love us. Uh, I mean, you. They love you. Ah! Ouch. I don't understand. What's wrong with being a celebrity? I wish Maria could just be happy, instead of making me feel guilty. What do you feel guilty about? Nothing. All I did was tell her not to quit the team. Well, why shouldn't she quit? Because she loves it. Then why does she want to quit? Can I just peel, please? It sounds like you don't feel good about your advice to Maria. Is it possible that deep down you think you pressured a friend into something she doesn't want to do? <sighs> it's possible. You're good. A bit too good. But good. Being a psychologist means asking tough questions and really listening to the answers. I guess I'm not so good at the listening part. Would you be really disappointed if I put this psychology thing on hold for a while? Of course not. Why would I be? I just know you'd be really proud if I followed in your footsteps. Honey, I'm already proud of you. That's not going to change no matter what you choose to do. Good. Because I think I should forget about being a psychologist and stick to being a friend. Yo, Sharon, you're just in time for our pregame visualization. Sorry, guys, there's something I have to do. Well, hey, do you think I should keep my helmet on for this stupid interview? Forget the interview. Uh, who are you, and what have you done with my shrink? She, we're tired. This is your best friend talking, though I haven't been acting like it. I told you all kinds of stupid psychological reasons to do the interview and stay on the team, even though you wanted to quit. But the truth is, I wanted you to stay, because I like us hanging out with the guys. For some reason, they listened to me. But... I should have told you to do what was right for you. Oh, so what I'm hearing is that you've resolved your... Oh, what is it again? Oh, yeah. Conflict about what you want as opposed to what I want? Uh, okay. I deserve that. <laughs> yes. Let's go talk to the coach. Now, the Grizzlies are known for their offense, so don't let your guard down for a second. Maria, did Sharon get you all psyched up for your interview? Actually, no. No? I've been doing some thinking, Coach. I figure that my place is on the ice, not in front of a camera. They wanted to interview the team captain, and that's Brock, not me. I joined the Elks to play hockey, not to be some media gimmick. And I hope you're okay with that, but if you're not, then I guess this isn't the team for me. I'm sorry you don't want to do the TV thing. But... I respect you for standing up for yourself. It's what makes you a great player. All right, you're off the hook. Well, what are you all sitting around for? It's game time! Let's move, move, move! Hey, I'm sorry I was such a jerk this afternoon. I know you weren't trying to steal the spotlight. If anyone's a glory grabber, it's me. Aw, oh, forget it. It's ancient history. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello? Don't you guys have to be somewhere? Excuse me. Pardon me. Heads up. Woohoo! Good timing. to uh, convey is that although I've uh, resolved my issues with the Elks, I've chosen a path that's more in line with my uh, personal goals.
She's quitting the Elks and going back to the girls' team. Oh, what? No you way. Can't do it. Why? Well, because they... Oh, Sharon, help me out here. She misses them. They make her laugh till Smoothie comes out of her nose. Thanks for the visuals. I'll take it from here. Look, it's great to know I can hold my own on the guys' team. But I realize that I have something special with the girls' team, too. We need her. She raises the bar for the rest of us. And it makes us play better. So, I'm going to finish this season with the Wapiti. What about next year? Eh, I'll let you fight over me. We'll trade you Alden for Maria. I don't know. Who else do you got? Hey, I'm in the room. How about we throw in the shrink? Come on, you know I'm not doing the psychology thing anymore. Yay! Hey! I was going to miss hanging out with the guys, but hanging out with my best friend sure made up for it. Hey! I have always wanted to do that. <laughs>